All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk a bit about the Beta FPV transmitter. This is something that I've been using for about a year now, maybe just under, and I have to say that it's really, really good compared to the other options available. Like, for example, if you wanted to fly this thing, this is a Beta 65, what you would need to do is have a transmitter that can that can transmit on FR Sky, Free Sky uh, radio waves, and that usually means getting an expensive controller like a Tyrannus or a Spectrum. Now, while they are good transmitters, okay, they're also pretty big. So I don't have one with me at the moment, but they're pretty much like that size, which if you compare that to the white drone controller there, it's a lot bigger. It's gonna take up a lot more room in your bag and it's gonna be heavier. Whereas this, this is very cheap, this is 25 pounds, this is specifically designed for beta FPV drones like these. It's also very lightweight, very small, and it's very comfortable to use. It's literally just like a gaming controller, but these thumbsticks have been designed specially for controlling drones. They've got the grippy spikes on the end, so you're not gonna slip when you're doing like weird maneuvers. It's great. I really have no complaints about this whatsoever. The battery seems to last for hours, and it's really, really good. There's obviously, you can configure these buttons here. So what I do is I have these to control the, uh, the different l modes of control. So like green is self-leveling mode, and then red is manual mode or rate mode or angle mode. And then you've got on this side, you've got arm. So red is obviously unarmed, and then green is armed, so it's ready to fly. I really have no complaints about this whatsoever. This is perfect. What, what I would say is obviously keep it up and then angle it. Angle it so that the side of this is aimed at where the drone is. Say if you're, if you're flying here, and the drone's flying around here, try not to angle it like that, like you would with a gaming controller, because radio waves travel sideways, uh, you know, at a tangent to the aerial. So the radio waves are gonna travel exactly like that. They're not gonna travel in a straight line out the top, like most people think. They're gonna travel out the side. So if you're flying the drone over here, you really need to aim the controller like that, and that will give you the best range. Don't do that, or you know, try and point the aerial at it. Just hold it like this and make sure that this is aimed, the side of it is aimed towards where the drone is flying. But other than that, this is a great transmitter. I don't really have any complaints about this whatsoever. Highly recommend getting this. I'll leave a link in the description, but yeah, this is a really good option, especially because this folds flat. And if you get one of those thumbstick guards, you can just throw this in your bag and it's not gonna take up much room at all.